Hi everyone. Hello. Hola, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo está mi gente? This is Lena with Especially Made for Me. Wanted to go ahead and do a recording uh, so I can upload it for you. We've been having some issues the last a uh, couple of weeks or so with doing a live streaming and we have streaming data but then youtube says there's no data being received and so on and so forth so um so i can make sure that we do as promised and do the projects that we had um already scheduled to do live i'm actually doing a pre-recording and getting these uploaded so in case you're wondering why it might be a little bit different <laughs> that is the reason why so i'm going to be making a the candy cane uh, that uh, we were going to be making a couple of weeks ago uh, for Christmas. Uh, still doing that Christmas in July theme. So I'm going to do that and do the next couple of projects, try to get them uploaded, and hopefully we can go live on our next scheduled time. So uh, for the candy cane swag, you're going to need a candy cane wreath form. You can usually get these at the dollar store. You will need to put your own pipe cleaners in. I do have the supplies listed underneath the description on the description of the video so you'll have that of course we're going to need some ribbons two and a half and one one and a half um, depending on your choice i already have them pre-cut to kind of make it a little bit um i guess less time consuming because we're going to be also using some tubing and i wanted to actually cut that while we're doing um this project together <laughs> um, and that does take a little bit more of time so i was trying to save some time so in other areas uh so that we can um hopefully get the project done within the hour <laughs> so i'm gonna change the view of the camera as i normally do so you'll still see me on the corner of the video on the top and uh, we're gonna have that bird's eye view top view of the actual my work, work table and we're going to go from there and just uh, start working together. Uh, you're going to need a 21 inch by 10 yard roll of mesh of your color theme of choice. And you'll be able to see um, see mine. I already have it on my mesh roller. It's very Christmassy. It's got all of our Christmas colors on the red, the green, the gold. <laughs> um, but you'll be able to see that once I start putting things together. And then I'll show you some tips as we go along. So here we go. Just changing the view so we can have both me on the corner and then the top view of the table and let me actually while i'm here try to bring this in a little bit closer so i want to make sure you can let me zoom in you might be able to see a little bit of my mess here while we're trying to get things troubleshoot things let's see that might be a little bit better Okay, how is that? <laughs> Let me get this mouse out of the way here. Let me put it on this side. Okay, so here is our candy cane wreath form. And we have our mesh. What we're going to be doing, there's of course many different ways that you can make this. Uh, you can use any of the themes or methods uh, as you would for a regular wreath or a swag. So you can do ruffles, you can do curls, you can do bundles, poof, you name it. Um, but today we are going to be doing the poof method just for a little bit of an easier, quicker method of doing the candy cane. And then we're going to be adding on from there as we normally do with a wreath. We'll be adding and then the tubing and the ribbon and maybe even have time to make a bow. <laughs> So all I do here is actually gather the mesh and you can gather it any way you're comfortable. I, I really don't think there's a, any particular rules as far as I'm concerned. Just do what you're comfortable with. You could always cut everything straight here before you even start. Um, I tend to just give it an extra inch and then I cut at the end when I'm just doing the poof method. Now, if I'm gonna be cutting uh, pieces to do the ruffles or do curls, I might then do some cutting to make, kind of make it more even, but you don't necessarily have to at this point. So I'm just, again, gonna be doing the poof method. So I am gonna be tucking this in for underneath, and then I'm gonna zip tie it in. But for now, I'm just gonna use my chenille stem or pipe cleaner to just get it on there and just kind of tuck it under okay for the poofs 
these are pretty much about four inches apart so depending on how big you may want to make your poofs i go maybe about five inches five to seven just so that it'll be a big enough poof to give you some coverage and you can do it by eye or you can fully measure it using the, the cutting board if you have the cutting board um, if not i do have some affiliate links underneath on the video as well if you want to purchase to kind of guide you as to where to go and get these for yourself While you're here, if you have not already done so, do click that bell and give thumbs up if you're liking the videos thus far, the tutorial. Share the link with your friends, subscribe to the channel. We call that giving some love, sharing some love. <laughs> What I like to do is as I as I can or as I see that I need to is open the poofs as I go so it'll save time for later. The more open they are, the more coverage you'll have. So if you see that they're not too opened or might need some more coverage so you won't have to use as much mesh, you can open them up some more. And don't be too concerned if they're not exactly the same size. Mesh is very forgiving. Once it's all together, you really won't be able to tell much. So no, no worries. No te preocupes. <laughs> that might be a bit much altogether for learning Spanish today. But no te Preocupes, like preoccupied, preocupes. So don't worry in Spanish. So we are going to, like right now, we're just uh, one of my favorite sayings as well, or models, adapt and overcome. <laughs> we have not been able to go live. Not sure if it's our internet or something going on on the channel or a combination thereof so we're gonna make do just not happy that i can't be with you live and get to do it as we normally do but what i'm hoping to do if by chance we still can figure this whole uh the technical difficulties we're having <laughs> is to do a premiere for when we're gonna go live so i'll try to still do another pre-recording and see if we can do that so with this mesh it's uh, metallic and it's a uh, it's a little bigger of a weave on that you can see a little bit more of the holes uh, if i can say it that way for the weaving but I like it because it already has all the colors. And then we could just add like the ribbons that I'm using, they have the same colors, but they have some white so that they can still pop. So, so we can introduce a different color altogether. Okay, so. I just did the one, this is my last one for the, what I like to call the outer rim. And then we're gonna move on the inner. And we're doing the same thing. Just making our poofs as we go. But now we're gonna go on the inside. Now you can, if you prefer, you can start on the inside and then move to the outside. It's entirely up to you. Again, no rules. Don't stress over that. To me, 
doing the arts and crafts and doing uh, what we do. It should be more like a therapy, stress reliever, should be fun. If you start making too many rules and not enjoying it, then that's defeating the purpose. So please don't make it more difficult on yourself than it needs to be. Just do what you like and what's comfortable. And again, just opening up the poofs. We can move them around as we need to once we're done as well. Kind of make sure I don't grab the other, <laughs> the other stem. They start getting all mixed together now. The fuller it gets. <laughs> Another thing you could do with these once you're done with the mesh and put in your ribbons and as we are going to be doing adding some tubing you could also add Christmas balls to match your theme in lieu of a bow or even with a bow it depends on how how much you want to put on it So you have definitely lots of options with this. I turned around the mesh. I don't flip it. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully you can still see okay from what I can tell on the screen. And if you find, I don't know if you've noticed, uh, if you find that just fluffing it by grabbing it on top is not working, you could put your hand underneath it and then fluff it that way. I kind of go back and forth depending on what's going on with the mesh. Because sometimes it behaves, sometimes it wants to have a mind of its own. <laughs> So I mentioned earlier that you can do this with pretty much any method of doing wreaths and swags. So do give that a try if, you try if you've done any of the other methods that I mentioned. Try it that way as well so you can have that variety and see which way you would like it best. If you're not sure of those themes, I do have other tutorials doing other uh, wreaths and swags showing those methods and I normally put the method on the title. Or at least mention it on the video if I don't do both. But that way you'll be able to see how to do each type of method. Because there's a lot of different ways. There's even the bubble method. It's another good way to do the to do these. So okay. So what I like to do here on the bottom, we can see we have our top and bottom. So I do another poof to kind of put it together and then I tuck it under when I cut it. So that helps with providing the coverage for that bottom.
Okay. Um, for cutting, and just give yourself a few inches. I just kind of grab a handful and then cut it. You could always cut the rest of your mesh evenly when you do your next project with the what you have left over, which is what I normally call remnants, because you could definitely do another candy cane with that. So this we're just gonna tuck under, and I'm gonna tuck it in just like we have the other one. And we'll have them together. And let's just open our poof. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I normally do with these back here. So, I use a zip tie. Just to make sure they stay put. And once I have them secure, I do cut them down more, just so that we don't have all of this in the back of it. And what you're gonna do is just basically use the same wire from the your wreath form. I'm gonna make sure it still shows, there we go. And you're just basically going to put your, thip, your zip tie on it and make it as tight as possible. See. You could also use this if you're not able to get it too tight just to kind of push down on it. And once you have it tight enough, you can go ahead and cut the excess. And then just give yourself about an inch because now that it's nice and tight on there you just want it to be have enough on there to where it's not too short for coming off of the zip tie but that way it's also not so long that it's taking too much space with the wreath form and then it's just kind of you can't even lay it flat if i can if that makes sense <laughs> so i'm going to do it over this way so you can see this one again just getting it right onto that. <laughs> so I'm just cut, taking the zip tie right under that inner bar. Make sure it's nice and tight, as close down as you can. the excess and we're going to do the same thing with the excess here give yourself about an inch or so and cut the rest of it off so it should look see if i can get it closer to the camera where you can see it that's all that's left and there's your zip ties okay and here's our candy cane. Okay, so from here, we get to play with our ribbons and with our tubing. So you could do a couple of different things. You could go ahead and put the ribbons on first and then do the tubing, or you can make yourself bundles with the ribbon and the tubing and so, so on. 
So entirely up to you. So since I'm using tubing, normally I would do two ribbons per chenille stem. This time I'm only gonna do one and alternate them. And we're also gonna be using tubing. And we have red and we have the green. So we could also alternate those. So that's why I'm only gonna be using one ribbon on each one and alternate them. So for lack of spacing, I'm gonna go ahead and do the ribbon first because we still have to cut our tubing. And I want to kind of give you some tips on the tubing as well. So while I'm doing the ribbons, and I'm just finding my middle so I can scrunch it and shape the ribbon, I want to tell you about the tubing in case you haven't used tubing before. Now I cut the ribbon at 12 inches just in case um, you're wondering. You can cut it shorter if you like, but I wanted the ribbon to kind of stand out a little bit more because the tubing is going to be more in the center. And I'm going to be alternating the ribbons. Tubing, I'm going to be cutting them a little bit longer because we're going to be folding them up and twisting them a bit. To kind of make little ribbons. And these I'm just alternating just so that we can have one in each side and we could always curl it as we go later entirely up to you just a quick project if we can make it as busy as we want or as simple as we want no wrong way Don't know why I just thought of a Reese's Pieces. <laughs> so these you could also, if you would prefer, cut them shorter. And then have the tubing be what extends out. We've got options. And as you know, if, um, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you could also use the vase fillers, vase fillers. And put that at the end of your stems and that gives you another option I tend to like the candy cane more without the ribbons to be honest with you and just do the the tubing but I wanted to show you that there's you know different ways and that it can still work So maybe for Christmas, we'll do a couple of the other methods and we'll do some without the ribbon. I like the ribbons. I just think for these, it just kind of makes it look a little too busy. And I like being able to see the mesh when I use the multiple color mesh. If it was a plain mesh, probably not as much. skipped one of these I don't know just by looking at the ribbons but that's okay it still works <laughs> based on what you like not everybody will like it one way not everybody will like it the other way so just do what you like as you do these you can decide you know you know right I think I like what she said maybe without the ribbons or you may like it with the ribbons you may decide to not do the ribbons and do the tubing and the Christmas balls
lots of decisions. <laughs> So again, if you're just joining, we're just doing a candy cane swag for kind of going along the theme of Christmas in July. And if you haven't already done so, please do give me thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can click on that bell so you can get notifications as well when we do uploads or go live. If you'd prefer, you could also sign up to our email list. There's a link underneath by the on the video description for that. And I don't bombard your email box. <laughs> We send things periodically just to give updates and news. Was actually at a conference last week, all week long. Had some flight delays. It's the first time I did some traveling since COVID at least um, by airport, airplane. And I tell you what, on the way there and on the way back, it was just horrible. We had delays after delays and plane issues or they had uh, staff issues. And we were supposed to get there like on the way there, we were supposed to get there around two. We didn't get there till almost midnight. <laughs> so layovers at the airport were just not as fun <laughs> as the actual conference was. <laughs> And it was the same thing on the way back. Came here rushing to try to do live and it just wasn't happening. What's going on there with not being alternating rhythm? Okay, so candy cane with lots and lots of ribbon. <laughs> So let's cut some tubing. So I mentioned about a tip with the tubing. Let me go ahead and bring my bowl over here. So tubing can be a little, gotta be a little careful. <laughs> Do not stretch it by pulling on it. That kind of makes it lose its shape. So when you cut it and you're measuring, it'll be without pulling. Once you're done using it, because it's kind of difficult to keep it together. If you don't use it all, I save these big ribbon rolls, the bigger ones that are that have more spacing. And you could actually tuck the ending of the tubing and then just wrap it on here and pin it. And it makes it easier to keep your leftovers um, to the side. So you, you'll be able to put it away a lot easier. 
Now you can use these, get these small ones from the dollar store. You could also purchase these bigger bag, um, bags and packets. They have them, of course, in different colors and themes and whatnot. These I got at the dollar store. Um, and they usually have them there and they change them up based on the season. So for um, like for October and November, you know, during the fall, they, they change the colors and Halloween, they have different ones. So I would suggest picking some up if you want to start using these, of course, because that is actually about a, the best value that you can get it. Sometimes it does have a little kink, if I can call it a kink. <laughs> um, but for the value of it and the what you're spending and the amount that you get, it's actually a very good price. So I normally go about 15 to 20 inches on these. And again, without pulling, because the idea is, and I'll show you on here. I was trying to cut and you couldn't see it on the screen. So once you cut it, what we're basically doing is just kind of tucking it and I'm grabbing the ends and then we're just gonna make a quick little bow and we're gonna put that in with our ribbon. So you could do one color and alternate one color of each or you could put both colors and put them together if you're gonna be doing the red and the green. So, let's see. Cutting at 16, so we can, if we want to, again, without pulling, to make it easier, you could just grab it and count how many pieces you'll need. Or just do one or two at a time. entirely up to you but this is the part that I said it would be a little bit more time consuming because the tubing you have to be a little bit more careful with it as you cut it and making sure that you don't stretch it so I mentioned putting the ends together just kind of overlapping let me see if I do it this way might be better so you're overlapping your ends there's one end and the other you're just going to grab that and put it together like so. So now you have a little bow. Okay. And that's the part that you're going to tie right in the middle with the chenille stem. So you can, again, just do one. Just make sure it's nice and tight. And that's how it'll look. You could alternate one of each color to spread the colors around, or you could do both. So, let me get some green, so I'll show you what that looks like. forget you can't don't pull you're just gonna cut straight out if they're not exactly the same size it's okay but don't pull it because once you pull it loses its shape okay so again I'm just overlapping those ends and I'm putting my hand under it just so that you can see this is where the ends are I'm just overlapping them so I'll be able to grab them and that's where the chenille stems are gonna go and then you're just gonna come down with it to grab your other end of it and now you have your little a little bow that you can connect so if you want to connect both a red and a green you can alternate it like so and that brings that red and green back out or you can alternate the colors again okay so I am going to go ahead and put this green on here just like 
giving you the different options. And then here is where you would then put the Christmas balls right in the middle with some hot glue. Or you can alternate, do a set of your pipes, the, the tubing, and then do a Christmas ball and so on. Just giving you some other options to give you some ideas. Because again, there's so many different ways to put this together. And there's no wrong way. So another way you could do this is grab both of your tubing pieces of the two different colors and op overlap those ends. Grab your other side and now you have them both together. So it's like making a small bundle. I like kind of doing it either way, but um, depending on the look that you want, if you do them separate, you can alternate the angle. Like one can be one way in the other, the other kind of like a little cross and it makes a little flower. So just other options there. With us having more of the white with this ribbon, I kind of want to have both back on top. Just so it'll look more Christmassy. But just wanted to have a little pop of a different color. I'm thinking just now looking at it on the screen because it looks a little bit different on the screen than it does on my table, really. I will probably go, like I mentioned earlier, without the ribbons and just do the the tubing. I don't know. Just me, just putting those together. And just remember to make sure you're when you do the, the tying, you know, we go around a couple of times, make sure it's nice and tight. Because with the tubing, it kind of tends to want to move afterwards. So that is pretty much it with the tubing. Just got to have some patience with it. Don't pull it. You can cut them all at one time or a few at a time. Oops, I was getting a knot over here. There we go. Try that again. <laughs> I keep forgetting you can't see me doing that <laughs> when I get, get it close to me. Sorry about that. Unless you're looking at the corner. <laughs> but on the from the top view, you can't really see it. So sorry about that. have any questions at all even though this is an upload an uploaded video do leave some comments with your questions I do check the videos periodically just to see if there's any uh, comments and or you know questions that I may need to answer some green so with tubing it tends to get <laughs> all twisted up and jumbled up and it can get tight and get knots really easy so that's why I was suggesting just kind of going slow with it cutting a few pieces at a time this is the most time consuming time that you know that you would have with using tubing it's just getting it 
getting it prepped if you're going to be putting it all throughout your project. Continuously, it's about to get all unraveled. Okay, here we go. Again, just combining the two, overlapping our ends. And right at the center of our loop that's left over is where we're going to gather it all. And that's where we're going to tie it with the chenille stem. And since we're going all the way around, you can put it anywhere. And then we can look to see if we have any empty spaces. Or you can go in order. <laughs> it's entirely up to you. Don't forget, don't pull these because they'll lose their shape. And you could decide on these if we want to maybe alternate and then see if you want to fill them all out. I like giving different ideas even as I'm doing a project just different options of doing it because there's so many different ways and everything is based on preference and you might not like it this way but might like it better in one of the other options I've given so hopefully you like that too <laughs> if you do thumbs up please <laughs> let me know that you do like that that you are uh, like the tutorial and getting the different options and ideas that lets me know what to continue doing and what to plan for next and if there is a project you like to see being uh, made here on the on my channel with the especially made for me just let me know via comment you may want to see the candy cane made again but maybe in a different uh, method maybe you want to see the bundle method or the bubble method or ruffles just let me know we'll be going to let's see the plan was when when I, we weren't able to go live uh, the day we were doing the kid we're supposed to be doing the candy cane originally um, then the following week we were going to be doing a summer swag uh, just so that we can at least get one more summer item in and then continuing on with the Christmas in July and doing a door hanger for Christmas using a fa la 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 song. <laughs> and, um, and then moving on to doing a Halloween swag with a skeleton. Because things are moving so fast, time just keeps on moving, right? And these holidays and different things are going to be here before we know it. I do prefer Christmas though. <laughs> Just love Christmas. Navidad in Spanish. Right 
another one. Looks like we don't need that many more. any areas let's see one there maybe about three more okay so we'll be okay cutting a few now just move this over or we do some more cutting uh, see you want to make sure it doesn't there we go Again, doing this without pulling. So we don't want it to lose its shape. It really stretches out. Okay. Just moving those out of the way so we can have some room. Let me bring this back over. Is just overlapping the ends give yourself about an inch for each side so about two inches of overlapping and we're just going to have this meet right in the middle with the other piece and then we want to make sure it is nice and tight we pull and twist with the chenille stem and give it a couple of twists just to make sure that they don't come loose. Don't worry if one is bigger than the other. It's okay. <laughs> Does not have to be exact. Let's see if we can find those others that were missed in the middle. There they go. could also make a bow I tend to if I use the ribbons throughout I use normally don't make a bow but you definitely can and then you will put it of course 
not towards the bottom, but more like towards the top on this end. And then have your tails kind of flow down. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I think this is our last one. I'm gonna make sure it's in here nice and tight. Okay, and again with your stems. The chenille stems or pipe cleaners. You could leave them as is. You could add the vase um, fillers at the ends, or you can cut them or tuck them under. Definitely, lots of choices. Let's see which way can you see the can full candy cane. So that's a full candy cane there, and then we can make a bow and put it in the middle. And again, you could do it without the ribbons and just do the tubing, and then add Christmas balls lots of options so you decide what you would like best for your project if you're going to be doing it for your own home or if you're going to be doing it on the side uh, for just selling it making a little bit of money <laughs> so lots of different options but definitely enjoy the project <laughs> do what you like and make sure that you don't pull on the tubing if you're going to be using tubing so those are the tips for today for doing a candy cane swag you could also do a sign, um, again, entirely up to you, or you can leave it as is. So, happy creating. <laughs> Until next time, please don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. You have a great day. Keep creating, stay safe, and always stay liquid. Bye-bye. <laughs>